From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. It's getting busy in the tropics. We have the second named storm of the hurricane season called Bill and two other areas that weather officials are watching. Nothing for us to be concerned about now. Bill is off the east coast of the U.S. and is heading out to sea. The other areas in the Gulf of Mexico and off the African coast, but there's no threat to us at this point. Police detectives now working two murder cases this week, still trying to figure out how to stop the ongoing gun violence, especially in the capital. 45-year-old Lamont Johnson shot and killed at a bar over the weekend. 25-year-old Chavante Moore shot multiple times in his car yesterday morning. Police believe you, the public, can help stop this, and they've again issued this appeal. If you are aware of someone who's brandishing a firearm or any other illegal substances that they should not be in possession of, that you contact your nearest police station or contact the Criminal Investigations Department. It is everyone's responsibility to do their part. If you see something, say something. That is Assistant Superintendent of Police, Audley Peters. In Grand Bahama, the search has been suspended for five persons missing in that boating incident off West End over the weekend. They're feared lost. Two confirmed dead and eight others rescued. Those eight, seven Haitians and a Jamaican, have already been to court charged with illegal sailing. They pleaded guilty. They're going to be deported. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Help for the judicial system. Four new magistrates have been sworn in to fill positions on the lower bench. Current Fort Charlotte MP Mark Humes tells the House that he has not accepted any office from any political party and will not run as an independent. Humes, one of several current FNM MPs, not renominated by the party. Agriculture Minister Pintot estimating the country imports a billion dollars worth of food every year, and he's urging more use of local produce to try and cut into that bill. Minister Pintout and Immigration Minister Johnson among the first speakers in the second week of the ongoing budget debate in the House. Smoke issues for residents of Tall Pines here in the Capitol as firefighters battle a blaze near but not on the dump site. Officials not sure how that fire got started on a scrap metal site in the area. More COVID-related restriction updates expected from Prime Minister Minnis in the House on Thursday. He is hinting at rule changes for fully vaccinated people. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 80 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable. The sea is three feet or less. Low tide now, the next high around midnight. Wednesday's forecast, mostly cloudy skies in the area. Ice in the upper 80s. There could be some thunderstorms around. Weather officials paying attention to three possible systems in the tropics, including Tropical Storm Bill. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Biggest and best. World news headlines with the NATO summit over and alliances restored. U.S. President Biden now heading for Switzerland on the third and most anticipated leg of his first overseas trip as president. A meeting with Russian President Putin tomorrow in Geneva. U.S. officials admitting that relations between the two countries are at its lowest point since the Cold War. The president calls Putin a worthy adversary says he'll try to find common ground for the two superpowers. The United Kingdom and Australia have now signed a major trade agreement, the first for the U.K. since the exit from Brexit. Sports Notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. There's plenty of soccer on TV. That major international tournament on now in Europe is getting plenty of TV coverage. NBA Game 5 tonight for the Nets on the Bucks. That's the only game on the schedule. That series tied at 2. DeAndre Ayton of the Suns resting, waiting for the winner of the Clippers Jazz Series. 
That is also tied at two after last night. Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins in St. Louis again tonight. They lost there last night, getting ready for the U.S. Open Golf Tournament this week. Plenty of previews on TV. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 